can I get a tattoo or a piercing that no one on the planet has? Um, you, yeah. That's a tough question. Yeah, you can, but if you show it to someone, then you're not going to be the only one with it as soon as someone sees it and likes it. Yeah. So, I think putting a lot or more of the effort into, oh, I've got to be different and unique. Well, uh, you know, it's not financially wise for me to say this, but if you want to be fucking different, don't get a tattoo. <laughs> at all you know I mean yeah. that's like they are the weird person in the room now you know at least in my circles of course it probably happens a lot more than yours but you know almost everybody's got at least one or knows someone within an arm's reach that's got yeah. one so um, to me that's never been a huge concern because to me I didn't get tattoos so I could be different I got them because just I loved wearing them um, so if you're getting a tattoo and your main thing is to have something that you can show, people are going to go, oh my God, I've never seen that before. Whew, hurry up, you know, yeah. because <laughs> you get to keep it for a little bit by yourself. Yeah. I see shit like that every day. Yeah. You know, I mean, people, I mean, get on Instagram and follow some of these tattoo uh, artists and they're putting out stuff that just ugh, makes me want to throw my machines away. Yeah. I mean, and, and I've never seen that before. But as soon as someone sees it, you'll see another one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're more leaning towards getting tattooed to be that, to be a different and be individual, you're going to probably be let down. Because yeah. tattoos are just everywhere now, and you can't really shock anybody unless they're very closed off from society mm -hmm. with a tattoo. I mean, you know... Definitely don't put that kind of pressure on your piercer or your tattoo artist, because they'll never come up with anything. Yeah, it, you know, and if it is, that's why you see, you know, a tattoo of a toilet with a piece of cheese sitting behind it. It's like, yeah. why? Oh, well, because nobody else has it. Okay, well, the, that yeah, scratched your itch, okay. Why do you have a dog taking a dump on your forearm? You know? Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> For me, I've never worried about that. I get them, I get whatever I like. You, you know, I don't have a Tasmanian Devil, but if I wanted one, that wouldn't bother me that everybody had one. Yep. Because I don't, it's, I'm not concerned with what everybody likes. I'm getting what I like. It just so happens that a lot of other people like it or have it. Mm -hmm. that, darn, I guess, but that doesn't mean that I don't like it. Yep. So, but for, I guess, but though for some people on the other side of that coin, that makes people not like stuff if it's popular. Mm -hmm. So yep. they don't want to have that thing that everybody has because then they just look like everybody else. But to me... I'm not trying to look like anyone else. If I happen to end up looking like someone, oh, shit, you like the same stuff I do, neat. Uh, but I'm not looking to be different or I'm not looking yeah. to be like anyone else. I'm just getting what I like. So I don't really concern myself. I can't really that. speak for piercings, but I would say probably the closest you're going to get as far as a tattoo is just asking that specific artist if he's got original pieces. Yeah. And that's about the closest you can get to original ideas is seeing what that particular artist has lying around that he's drawn up, or he or she, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, that they've drawn up and uh, and wants to tattoo but has not yet tattooed. And that's mm -hmm. about as close as you're really going to get to something like that. Again, I can't really speak for piercings. I imagine they've oh, much all that. be done, but and there's always a piercing you want to do that's yeah. a little bit more unique than yeah, some of the That's ones. a really good point. Um, you know, asking the artist, you know, if they've got something they've drawn up. So in that, in that, on that side of the coin, most of the tattoos, at least that I do or that come out of this shop, are unique. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it might be a deer or it might be a, a landscape or something, but it's that's, different. Yep, that's fairly true. Um, it, you know, so if you're thinking concept-wise, you know, something nobody's done, like, that's you tough. know, I don't yeah, know. Cause that's that's tough. Tough. Yeah, no, I mean, been there's been it, people that put implants under the skin to embellish their tattoos. There's, you know, there's people, there's glow in the dark stuff. There's people that are tattooing their, themselves full black now. They're doing mm -hmm. geometric patterns that start on their feet and go to the top of their head. I mean, Jesus. Uh, yep. You know, if you're looking in that regard, it still got, falls back into the same thing. Yep. You're going to be the first, but you're not going to be the only no. one. Yep. And you're not going to be the last. So. Is it worth all that energy? Yep. You know, to but the custom pieces. That's that's yeah. the easier part. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Why'd you do that? Oh, so I could be different. But everybody <laughs> has that. Yeah, but I was the first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where. I don't know how you're gonna win. Yeah. I, by I, getting something solely because it's nobody else has it, right? Well, yeah. you know, I don't know. I, I can see maybe how it bothers some people, but I think maybe they're getting the tattoo for a different reason than I get tattoos. Mm -hmm. So it's you know not that and there's they're... a lot of different motivations. Right. And there's nothing wrong with any of them. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's 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 basically in essence you're changing yourself, the way you perceive yourself to the outside world. Yeah. Anybody can do it any way they want to within 
the law, of course. You know, right. if you're in a place where you can't go around pantless, then I don't suggest it. <laughs> right. But, you know, if that's your thing, and there are places for you to go to do that. You have the right to, to change how the rest of the world perceives you visually, and that's a big part of body art in general. Mm -hmm. That's what we're kind of going for. We're molding and shaping ourselves into a picture that we like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Uh so, like you said, there's no right and wrong. Yeah. You know, there's no right or really wrong motivation. Um, it's a very in, in individual thing. Um, and I think some people may be uh, let outward influences mm -hmm. either push them towards or away from certain things where my, my uh, advice would be, who gives a fuck what everybody else thinks? This is the, yeah. one of the most personal things you can do for and to yourself. That's going to last until the day you die. Get something you love. So, yeah, you know, you're going to be around you way more than anybody else. Yeah. So someone going, oh, I don't know about that. Who gives a fuck what they think? You know, I mean, everybody's got their own, you know, values Tick and everything. Tock. But, you know, when it's something as personal, it's something that you're going to embed into your skin for, for the rest of your life. I just would value everyone else's opinion a little bit lower than my own and just get what you want and what you like regardless if you know anybody else likes it or has it or or anything and before i go on with piercing and, and throw in a couple of my, my twenty dollars worth that's what i've assumed my my opinion is anymore twenty bucks yeah i'm almost fifty so it's got to go up in value uh this is brought to you in part by death before decaf uh they help support us and they supply the coffee and we drink the coffee. Because it's super good. And if you like, they are locally owned and operated, and I think they do local yeah, roasting oh, too, and they can grind it for you if you don't feel comfortable doing that. And it tastes really good. It's it's delicious. I, I, I have to have at least two cups a day, or I don't. Function. Yeah. yeah. Function. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good word for it. See, we've been together so long we finish each other's sentences. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, uh, what sparked me to bring up this question is that I watched a video of this woman who went on for 25 minutes complaining about other people getting her chest tattoo, which she's on YouTube. She, uh, I'm, I'm not going to glorify her by giving her any more hits. She is a fashion model. She is a, I don't know, Z-list celebrity? And she went around and trolled all these other women that had the same chest piece or anything similar or were in the process of getting it done to change it so it wasn't just like mine. Here's the thing I always say to people when they're asking about, I want a unique piercing that no one else has. Your anatomy is completely different than everybody else's. I am only going to do that one piercing, or in you guys' case, that one tattoo, on you. It is a one-of-a-kind situation. No one else has the exact same thing. You're the shape of your face, the shape of your ears, the shape of your body, your torso, your genitals, whatever is going to dictate where that piercing is at. And no one else on the planet is going to have exactly that same thing. For the same reason that I have clients call up, they come in a group and they all get their navel done or something, and then they start calling me back going, well, mine isn't like Jen's or mine isn't like Fred's. Well, your anatomy is not like Jen's or Fred's. Yours is unique to you. Mm -hmm. You get to live with that. That's part of you. Mm -hmm. And I think that people get caught up in this, I've got to have an original idea, yeah. and it's not important. It needs to express what you feel more than anything else because otherwise you go down that long hallway mm -hmm. of bad ideas to get to something that is totally ridiculous. Right. Yeah, people get very personally attached to their tattoos. <coughs> and I think um, <clears throat> the fewer you have, the more emotionally attached you are to them. Yeah. You know? And if you don't want and, somebody... Oh, just go ahead. Yeah, and uh, so this this woman with this uh, chest piece, well, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? You have everybody with thumbs looking at a screen, looking at that tattoo. Don't you think a handful of those are going to go, man, that sure is cool. I want that too. And go to their tattoo artist and get it on them. Yeah. So like I said, uh, you know, in another segment we were doing, you know, if you, uh, or was it the beginning of this one? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee. We are on number 11, so, you know, they kind of blend together after a while. Right. If you want to be the only one, don't fucking show it to anybody. Yeah. 
And your job is to show your body to everybody. Yeah. So what did you think? You know, yeah. that's just someone in my mind just being completely outrageous. You, you know, people can, your shit isn't copyrighted. Yeah, no, you know, and it isn't. And, no. and they've already proved it because Disney tried to sue a bunch years of people. Years and years ago. And it didn't work. No. Because it's an original art piece. Sorry, yeah. overdone with now, and, and you know what? I'm sorry, but she could have looked at that in a positive, like, wow, they really love my thing so my much that, you know, they, they want to copy it. It's never going to be mine. They you see. know, they're going to, you know, it's going to be versions of mine. And anybody in the more popular I get... They're going to think, oh, yeah, that's where they got, oh, she's yeah. the, and she could have used that as a, hey, look at this, you know, look at all these people, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm inspiring to get this thing. And because you can put a negative spin on it or you could put a positive spin on it. And how is she going to come off in the end? I would Better, love it if more people you know? wanted to look like me because they thought I looked cool. Right? Like flattery, you know? I, I, <laughs> the best part of it was a gypsy woman head with fans and stuff behind it, which looked like something uh, Sailor Jerry would have done 30, or well, now I'm old, so 60 years right. ago. So it, it, that tattoo artist who came up with that design was inspired by another tattoo artist, and your exactly. thing isn't that unique to begin with. Right. The thing is, is like any artist is inspired by what became that came behind them. Yeah, it's absolutely. you know it's the same thing. I used to deal with this with music all the time. Everybody's like, oh, everything's been done. Well, everything was done before you even got involved. Yeah. It has been done. Everybody is looking backwards and creating something new. And when you get to a point where you're fine-tuning something artistically, regardless of its piercing, tattooing, what have you, and learning how it fits in the face and how it changes how unique you look, it's it's calling on all those things behind you yeah. and building forward. Right. So, yes. And if you don't want that, like you said, if you don't want that tattoo uh, to be copied by a bunch of people, don't share Keep it on it Instagram. Yourself. Don't yeah. share it on Facebook. When you do the pier when you do the tattoo or piercing in that case, because I've done some kind of detailed stuff that people specifically, I've asked, "Hey, can I take a photo of it?" And they said, "No." Mm -hmm. I'm not offended by that. Me, yeah, even because yeah. if you say yes, it's going to end up on the website. Mm -hmm. It's going to end up in probably my Facebook feeds at some point, mm -hmm. and I'm going to share it around. Right. That's part of my job. That's how I build business. Yeah. I'm so. the same way with the tattoos, you know. Even if I drew the piece up and everything else, I drew it up, I put it on them. You know, if they don't want me to take a picture, I won't. Yeah. You know, um, actually, that reminds me, when um, John Clue uh, was working on this arm, uh, he asked if he could take a photo of it, and I, and I told him I'd rather he didn't. Yeah. Um, and then he said, uh, uh, I, you know, if I don't publish it, I just keep it for myself, do you mind? And I said no. And he did take a photo of it, but I never saw it published or anything else. So, you know, he understood that as well. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not a big deal, yeah. you know. Uh, and I remember so, being in an elevator with Brian Everett, right, the, I hadn't even finished this. I, we just, me and Sherry had just done the outline on it. Uh -huh. And we're at a tattoo convention, and he gets in the elevator. I had no clue who he was. But I've been digging his art for a long time. Right. It's that single needle kind mm -hmm. of black and gray stuff, but with that Americana kick. He goes, yeah. Nice tattoo you got over there. Where'd you come up with that idea? And I go, oh, it's an old Jinx sign. He goes, really? And I go, yeah, and I saw it in a tattoo magazine. But I changed it. He goes, yeah, you changed this, this, and this. He goes, it's really cool you did it in that direction. And then I introduced him to Sherry. He was like... Aha, uh -huh, nice. <laughs> So cool. yeah, that's that. It's all inspiration yeah. and moving forward. That's the only reason why even a why would you pick up? Why do I pick up a or go through piercing sites? Uh -huh. It's not because I need to refresh myself. It's to find new things yeah. that inspire me to do slightly different things or different techniques yeah. or different angles. The same thing with tattoos. You go through other tattooist stuff, uh, tattoo artist stuff. Tattooist. It's always a weird word. <laughs> um, to find something that inspires you to do more and, and and inspiration can come from lots of different directions yeah um you know me sometimes it comes from the medical field sometimes it comes to me geeking out on anatomy or watching surgical procedures <laughs> um you know and it's just the way life is mm -hmm. inspiration comes from all kinds of different directions yeah and you can look at it as you know in the in 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 every community art community um if you're looking at your fellow artist's work and you see something in their work that you're like, whoa, that is really cool. That is a really neat technique. And you, and you utilize that or, or try to use, use that in your tattoo or whatever. Is that wrong? Are you, no. are you biting off that artist? Or are you, no, or are you being inspired and taking that idea mm -hmm. and maybe taking it even further or at least exploring it? And maybe that technique doesn't work for you, but it leads you to something else. Now, 
that should that original artist that you know that did that technique be upset at another no. artist? Absolutely not. In not, fact, I mean, they might be able to steal a few things from them. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like oh, you it's did a it this way. I never thought it, of it it's that. It's more way. of a hide, you know. And, and and it's the same in tattoos. And now that you know that you can do a tattoo, and someone in China can see it ten seconds later, you know. And we love to show our stuff because that's what you know gets clients in and everything else. Plus, it's the fruit of our labor. Um, we all the all of these tattooers are looking at all of our tattoos, and when you see a tattooer that does something awesome or uses a technique or a certain way, and that inspires you, if if I was that person, I'd be like fucking awesome. Yeah. You know, I've seen it in on Instagram just in this, just in Iowa, just in Des Moines. Um, I've I've posted pictures um, that have a maybe a, a just a I, I'm not going to be too specific. <laughs> but you know that might have something in it done a certain way and then you know maybe a couple weeks or a month down the road I'll see something very similar or that same kind of yeah. technique or style done you know in a similar way here in town awesome that means they're looking at my stuff and not only are they looking at it they're liking it yeah. that is s fucking that's awesome you know, to and me, it pops, that's, uh, it, it increases the whole level of the industry. Well, right, and right. even if nobody else, you know, saw the tattoo that you know that that I did or knows anything about, I know, yeah. and he knows. Mm -hmm. That's all that's really, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, and I can see, oh wow, yeah, he did that technique pretty close to mine, but he did this. That's pretty fucking cool. Just like I was going back to, you know, yeah. we need to look at it as that. I mean, because unless you're going to draw all these beautiful pieces of artwork and throw them in a black closet. Yeah. Why are you doing it? Like so you can remember, so you can show it to people. So you can. You know, there was share. one famous artist from the fifties that that he was one of the, he was he was going to be bigger than uh, Pollock. He was going to be the hugest modern artist. Refused to sell any paintings and destroyed every one of them. Yeah. So you're relying on the memory of people of what that looked like, and that's not inspirational in any way, shape, uh -huh. or form because memory is clouded. Right, it might be inspirational for that one person, I guess, you know, to yeah. try to recreate something from their memory. But um, yeah, I just think people should get over it and realize that, you know, if they enjoy looking at something, chances are there's going to be another person out there that enjoys it too. Art like food, alcohol, and conversation should be shared. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. bottom line. Yeah, and like the it. same thing with tattoos yeah. and piercings. Yeah. Um, if you liked us, give us a thumb up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down because we, uh, we we like input. And uh, please subscribe. We put these out every other Sunday. And we also do uh, the Tattoo of the Week and uh, Studio Update weekly, every Friday. And then I add the piercing basic stuff and all that kind of stuff on a somewhat regular basis. So if you enjoy uh, learning about body art and piercing and tattooing, subscribe. Thanks, guys.